Awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Horizon Weekly Insider number 118. Today is Monday, December 27 of 2021, last um, month of the year. Thanks for joining us live here on Discord and YouTube. Please be aware that this call is being recorded and will also be available for you to check out later in our Horizon podcast. Also, please remember to ask your questions on Menti for the team so we can answer the top three at the end. Let's kick it off right away with our first update from the engineering department. I'll pass the word now to Luca. Welcome, Luca. Thank you, Angie. The main update today is that the C session withdrawal circuit implementation is done and the first level of code review was completed. A few changes were requested and those are being addressed. We expect to finish such changes tomorrow. Meanwhile, the circuit has already been integrated into the Blaze SDK, so the Java part is already done. Short update today as uh, part of the team is out uh, due to the Christmas holidays. So thank you and back to you, Angie. Thank you, Luca. Next, we have Rohan for the VD and operations updates. Good morning, everyone. Uh, happy holidays and hope you all had uh, some time to relax. If not having some time off to relax in the coming few days. Um, as mentioned on the last call, um, we have tons of great, exciting news to be shared uh, come January. Um, a partnership and business development team is continuing to you know, lock in more uh, business opportunities for us. And a lot of it would be shared come uh, early next year. Um, <clears throat> And also, just quickly on the backs of our, uh, you know, the last update, we are con continuing to hire uh, within the business development team for a manager and, uh, you know, blockchain research strategist role. And just keeping in the same vein of conversation, I'm super excited today to introduce to you Alejandro Castillo, who will be joining us as our first BD associate. Uh, we are super excited to have him on board, and he's on this call as well. So I want to, you know, take a few minutes for him to give an introduction to our community here. Um, so Alejandro, uh, if you uh, would please uh, provide a quick intro to, uh, to to the Horizon community on the call. I think there might be a tech issue, so while we try to fix it, and we can move on to the next. Sure, sure. Please, Alejandro, if you're if you're able uh, to fix the mic issue, please feel free to jump in uh, anytime. Uh, okay, next we have Lucy for the marketing section updates. Hello, everyone. Happy holidays. Uh, for those who celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a great one. So this is the last weekly insider this year. And I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone for a great year. And uh, I will be releasing an annual report this week to conclude this year's project performance, achievements, and all the major uh, milestones we hit. And next year, it's going to be it's going to be the year of rapid ecosystem growth. So next year is going to be a big year for Horizon, like Rohan just mentioned. We have already started preparing a lot of exciting news that we will announce in January and Q1 2022, uh, which will start soon as next week. So with all the work that we will be doing, uh, the marketing team needs a lot more help. Uh, we currently have several positions open. Um, so please take a look at our career page, horizon.io slash careers. And uh, if you would like to be part of the Horizon team, uh, please uh, apply. And then also, if you know anyone, you know, uh, your friends uh, or uh, your your network, uh, that would be a good for uh, for any of the roles, please, uh, 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 please recommend them uh, to Horizon as well. And then also starting next year, we'll be uh, uh, posting more job uh, position, uh, job opportunities as well. So uh, with that, I wish everyone a very happy new year. That's it from me. Back to you, Angie. Thank you so much, Lucy. Hi, Angie. Hi, I, I think my microphone might be working now. Yes, please. Can you guys hear me? Awesome. Yes, well, we thanks, Rohan, for the introduction. I'm super excited to join. Um, a little bit about me. My name is Alejandro. Uh, I'm 23 years old. I grew up in Nicaragua, went to school in the U.S. at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Uh, I studied aerospace engineering and uh, have worked a little bit with everything from um, super technical engineering jobs to um, business and now super excited to be joining uh, Horizon to be doing business development. 
and I'm very excited, very passionate about everything crypto. I've been doing uh, tons of research and I'm just super excited about it all. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll be working as a business development associate and I'm super excited for everything to come. It's a pleasure to meet everybody. Welcome to the team, Alejandro. Um, and awesome. So net, now let's welcome Rob for the leadership updates in the Q&A session. Thanks, Angie, and welcome, Alejandro, as well. We're really pumped to have you on the team. And just want to say we're really proud of just how the team has grown over the last year. And I would rank this probably our biggest accomplishment. And I know we've delivered some pretty impressive software over the last year with Zendu. We've been really focusing heavily on the product side as well and delivering really important POCs, things like the ZK audit with Celsius and so forth. But really, it comes down to our people. It comes down to the people who decide to work professionally on this project and other people you know, who decide to join our community and to actively participate. Um, so we've grown quite a bit over the last year. And I believe in uh, you know, last week or the week before as Weekly Insider, I mentioned that between the, the different companies and organizations that are part of this ecosystem, we have brought on 31 full-time hires over the last year. Uh, which may not sound like much, right, for a global organization like um, like Horizon is, this global project. But for us, it was a lot. And it's a lot because we had to establish the foundations, like the the organizational, institutional foundations for how you hype. How... Are they contractors? You pay them in cryptocurrency, like we've been doing, obviously, from our birth, and we continue to do. Or are they W-2 employees in the US as another example? Like some people, if they're going to choose to make this their profession, want to have steady employment, right? So uh, we've had to build up our organization for how we do things, our you know people hiring, onboarding, how we screen for people, criteria and so forth. We've had to bring on really just to professionalize, bottom line, right? And the, what we did over this last year was actually really big and important for us, setting the stage for the next year, but going into 2022, we're going to have to either 2x or 4x the rate of hiring and onboarding and just integrating new team members into this project that we did over the last year. Um, so expect a lot more there. Check out the open positions on our website. Check out our LinkedIn. Um, you know, and this goes for both the foundation with Horizon.io and also for Horizon Labs, for pipeline marketing, uh, for all of the organizations within our ecosystem. We're hiring like crazy. You know, We want to bring the best talent in. So um, on the last two Weekly Insiders, uh, first of all, two weeks ago, I covered um, our big accomplishments in 2021. But again, like Lucy pointed out, stay tuned for the, the formal um, blog posts we'll put out there so you can see in written form what we've done or check out the last Weekly Insider or two, two Weekly Insiders ago. Last week, we talked about um, you know things that go beyond just the, the explicit roadmap. And the explicit roadmap, really the... The bottom line for us is we've laid some very impressive infrastructure, like with Zendu. So we have this big protocol that can host something like thousands of blockchains networked together in our ecosystem. It has the foundations for a zero knowledge proof based um, you know, sidechain system that scales massively and comes with some pretty impressive ZKP tools. But really, the, the big pieces for 2022 are going to be making this real. Um, so everything thus far, as we talk to people, we explain the importance of Zendu. It feels like more of an academic exercise, right? Because, yeah, the software is deployed. We've proven that we can not only invent, design, and develop impressive software, we've proven that we can develop it into a production environment, but now we have to do something with it. So the, the first couple of really big things we're focusing on next year are going to be, one, tokenization. Right? We have to be able to issue a large amount of tokens in our ecosystem. Those tokens have to be tradable, right? Whether we go with DEXs, which we will, of course, at some point, um, and we're gonna rush that, but they also have to be tradable on centralized exchanges. So there's gonna be a lot of work ahead of us on deploying the next tokenization sidechain where people can actually issue their own tokens. And then um, really the BD team and integrations teams are gonna have to be working across the industry to get this, um, you know, these tokens integrated into exchanges. So there's gonna be a lot of work there. The second big thing is we are, are aiming very aggressively for Ethereum compatibility so that we can have full, a full range of smart contracting um, so that importantly, we can bring over all of the work that has happened, just the explosive growth 
in in the Ethereum ecosystem, everything from automated market makers, DEXs, to um, you know peer-to-peer -peer lending protocols and everything else in the smart contracting world that is extremely popular and people in the crypto community want and demand aggressively, and that's gonna come into horizon. All right, so we have a very aggressive 2021, 2022 roadmap to just make this important protocol, Zendu, make it real and, and start laying the foundations of just crypto things that people in the crypto industry you know, are demanding, like NFTs, like smart contracts, like you know, stable coins, like swaps, all of the stuff is gonna be in Horizon. And we have a really aggressive roadmap for it. But last week's Weekly Insider went beyond that. And we, we even talked about, uh, we know we have to be competitive long-term. This is, this is a marathon that we're on. This is not just a sprint where we're gonna check off short-term milestones and say, yeah, we can do NFTs in our ecosystem when the tokenization sidechain goes live. Great, really important, but we have to think long-term. In long term, how are we going to be competitive? We can't forget our main chain, all right? Zendu is really impressive because it allows a lot of the riskier stuff or the application specific stuff you can do on side chains. And those side chains could be, in a way, their own sandbox, their own environment where you can really, you own it as the developer and you can tinker with it. You can build your application logic directly into the chain with some of our products like Blaze or, or Lattice that's upcoming, or you can, you know, have a, a fully Ethereum compatible system like our EVM chain is going to be, right? So th these things are going to be real over the next year, but we all we cannot forget about the main chain and we have to think about long-term competitiveness means we're going to have to modernize it. You know, our main chain is based on Bitcoin core software, which then was adopted by Zcash. And then our, you know, for us, we're kind of a an offspring of Bitcoin to Zcash and now to us. Well, this, this core blockchain comes with some big advantages. It really is battle tested and hardened by being in production from you know, the earliest days of Bitcoin and improved on ever since in the open source world. But it also comes with some limitations. It comes with limitations um, you know, from consensus type to speed to and things that, it, that can be done with it. And there is more modern blockchain technology out there that we ourselves are even experts in. Things like recursive snarks. Right, so there's a lot that we can do and we should do. And at a minimum, we should investigate some of these really big ticket items for main chain modernization. And that's what last week's talk was all about. All right. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up today. We're going to keep this uh, short and sweet. And I'm going to echo some of the other team members' sentiments and just say I uh, wanted to give a, a, a big heartfelt thank you to our team, to all of the people who have chosen to be professionals contributing to this project to our community members, to our, our extremely active community members, to our ambassadors, to our partners who have chosen to take the risk and, and you know, partner with you know, this, this uh, you know, lesser known project. We're not in Ethereum yet in the world, but some projects and some partners have chosen that we're just the team they wanna work with. We're the technology that they believe in and they've chosen us you know, to build in. So we're really thankful for the partners who are choosing to build in Horizon and really to everyone who's working one way or another, whether you're just listening to this Weekly Insider, whether or not you're kind of a hobbyist every now and then tuning in, whether or not you just, you know, go and advocate for us on Twitter or social media, really anything and everything in between. We're just grateful to it and really happy and, uh, you know, proud of what we built so far with you guys. So I'll stop it here and Angie, we can open it up to any Q&A that we might have. Of course. Thank you, Rob, for the updates and as well for the community members for contributing with your questions. Um, let's see. So the first one is, does any of the new partnerships going to, that are going to be announced soon need to acquire SEN to build on SEN? Uh, yes. Yes, they do. Because um, and you'll see explicitly once we go live with some of these press releases, but these are people that are choosing to build in Horizon and they're choosing to build in the public blockchain portion which means necessarily they need to acquire Zen for you know, the proof of stake aspect of the side chains that they're going to be deploying. And at a minimum, just uh, for transaction fees are gonna be in Zen on the side chain system. So this is a good point to bring up really the, the economic changes or differences of what we have post Zendu versus Horizon pre Zendu, right? So we were really just before, and I've said this multiple times, a blockchain that supports uh, a primary product, which is a cryptocurrency, Zen. Now, post Zendu, even though it still feels like an academic thing to say, we are a completely different crypto economic system. Now, Zen is not just a cryptocurrency. 
Zen is the stake that's required for proof of stake blockchains that are released as Horizon sidechains. Uh, Zen is required for transaction fees. Zen is required for transaction gas, in particular, once we get the EVM product live, right? So Zen now has a completely different utility aspect to it than it had previously. And, you know, this is something that I think changes the, just the fundamental nature of this project. Great. Now, the second question, you kind of like already talk, uh, talked about it, but maybe something else can be added. It says, Beans, please. What should we look forward to in Q1 of 2022? NFT, EVM, DeFi, Zeni token. <laughs> so, hey, we, we are committed to getting a, a Zeni token out there for you guys. And then uh, I want to do some other Zeni interesting crypto products. Um, it's just for fun, right? Um, but we will for sure have a tokenization sidechain, a whole tokenization platform that goes live there. We're not doing just a one-off Zenny token. We're going to do, you know, just really open up the ecosystem for anyone that wants to launch their own tokens. Uh, then, like I said, the EVM chain is something that I'm most excited about because this really catches us up. I mean, it's a starting point of catching us up, right? Because then we actually have to deliver all of the other AMMs and, you know, DAXs and stablecoins and all of those other products that are out there. Uh, we need to actually deliver them in our ecosystem, but it becomes infinitely easier to do so. Now, between uh, beyond that, going into specific announcements that we have lined up for the early part of next year, I, I think I might um, you know, punt this to Rohan and see if he has a clever way of saying a whole bunch without really saying specifics. I don't know, Rohan, do you want to give it a stab for anything, maybe just general topics of partnerships that might be going live without releasing the details? Yeah, absolutely. No, I mean, super exciting to the points that I think the question had around NFT and gaming and so forth. So yes, all, all, all of those. So we have some ex exciting partnerships uh, in play around the game files out of the house, the NFT and tokenization continuing to be kind of a, 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 a flagship way for us to continue to expand our partnership and business development capabilities. But at the same time, we're exploring uh, opportunities with other ecosystems. You obviously heard about the MEXC. Uh, we are also working with Folk Ventures, which is based on another uh, Australian outfit uh, and helping us kind of look into opportunities in the Asia and 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 you know and markets globally as well. So yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, end by saying just be patient. We have a ton of exciting opportunities lined up and we'll be more than happy to share with you uh, come uh, early January next year. Awesome. The third and final question is, when do you think the DAO will be finished so we can vote on the next big changes? Uh, that's a really good question. So initially, we had the idea that we were going to build a sidechain specific DAO. Um, and I, I think that still is the long, long run vision here. But um, I, I want to see some more shorter term gains or shorter term deliveries for us that, so we can really empower the community more directly. And the way that I view this is we're going to kick it off with HCC, the Horizon Community Council. And like I mentioned the other day, we do have a special task force working on that, and Rohan's part of that. But um, that's really opening the door. So that that H the goal of the HCC is really to expand um, community access to governance here and just make it, again, make it more real. I guess that's our theme for 2022 is to make things more real um, but for you know broader community governance and a path towards DAO. Now on that path, what I would like to see us experiment with or, or think about are some shorter term things we could do. There, there's a whole DAO tech industry out there now that didn't exist years ago when we first framed this idea of a sidechain based DAO. So I think it would be myopic of us not to explore the DAO tech uh, stuff that's already out there and to see how we can leverage some of the DAO technologies that exist currently, uh, whether this is with snapshots or some sort of other, you know, uh, sentiment aggregators, ways for people to actually have a voice directly. And, you know, there are tools out there now that might we might be able to deploy in uh, shorter order than developing our own uh, unique sidechain DAO, right? So I, I'm a big fan of that. And this, to me, starts with the HCC and just getting expertise in that organization on governance and carving out that path to DAO and then very quickly looking at the tools that are available out there. I suspect once we get the EVM chain live, uh, many of these tools will be 
much easier for us to deploy because we'll we'll have Ethereum compatibility. And the reality is many of these tools are being built on Ethereum today. So anyway, that's my maybe longer answer to a really important question because the sooner we open this up and the sooner we just expand community sentiment and the ability to directly have a say on particular issues, the better. And I I, I love our long-term vision of that really impressive zero knowledge based sidechain DAO it's just organic to our ecosystem, but at the same time, there's a lot of tools that are already out there that have been built over the years that we ought to leverage. Great. Now, I'd like to read a, a comment uh, here listed as well. It, it says, Horizon is hiring a lot of people. Team expansion is a good sign. So thank you so much, everyone, for your questions and comments, uh, for following us through throughout the years. Uh, so we're very thankful and grateful for all of that. Um, so I guess this is it. Thanks, everybody, uh, for joining us on our Weekly Insider. We'll see you all next Monday, and we wish you all a very happy new year. Have a good one. Bye.